the laws and they decide, all right? As I said to you before, there are 13 layers on this pyramid. There are 13 letters in Anacoeptus, but 13 is a very important number to this secret society. There are 13 stripes, there are 13 uh, stars here, which make up the Star of David. Um, the 13 berries, there are 13 leaves, 13 arrows. Uh, there are 32 feathers here and 33 feathers there. Uh, everything is done in sequence of 13. 13, of course, is based on, the, it's, this is what we call Masonic symbolism. Freemasons designed this dollar bill. Everything is done in sequence of, of 13, and again, I draw your attention to the fact that you have 13 stars here, which uh, collectively make up the Star of David. There's a reason why. On the one dollar bill at the top, you'll see this little image right here, but if you blow it up from an actual photograph, you'll see it is a, a, it's a, it's a little owl. It's a symbol of the Bohemian Society. The Bohemian Society meets in California on the last two weeks of July of every year. I have pictures uh, showing all of the presidents, all of the living presidents, excluding the new one, but all of the living presidents at the Bohemian Grove in Northern California, and they're all wearing red and black um, Ku Klux Klan dress type of, uh, of regalia, like the Ku Klux Klaners, with the pointed headdress and everything. And, uh, I mean, that's quite a sight to see presidents dressed like Ku Klux Klan members, right? And they're standing in front of a big open pit of fire, and behind them is a, about a 25, 20 to 25 foot owl behind them. And the article in Elm Magazine and Time Magazine, I've got two or three different magazines showing basically the same pictures. It says that the presidents meet with all of the heads of industry throughout the world, all of the heads of state throughout the world, and all of the most important wheeler dealers in this country, and they all meet up in Northern California, and they have, they have uh, rituals where they go before the owl after midnight. And then what a picture you got. With all the presidents dressed up like Ku Klux Klaners with black and red robes on before an owl. And these are your presidents of this country. And the reason why they chose the owl is because the owl is a symbol used in Europe by secret societies because the owl is wise because it sees things in the dark. And the implication is, of course, that's why they are where they are because they're very brilliant and they know things that you don't know. Our story begins in Northern California over a hundred years ago when locals began to spread rumors of bizarre occult rituals being conducted in the ancient redwood groves of Sonoma County. As the decades passed, it became clear these incredible stories had a basis in truth and their source was a 2,700 acre private club known as the Bohemian Grove. Then in a time period between the mid-1970s and the early 1990s, scores of reporters attempted to infiltrate the Grove. All attempts were unsuccessful. Grove security identified them, threw them out for trespassing, or in some cases, had the local police arrest them. To many, it seemed, the Grove's secrets would never become public. All of that changed on July 15th, 2000 when we ripped aside the veil of secrecy and were successfully able to penetrate the Bohemian Grove on their high holy day and videotape the cremation of care ritual. Our infiltration is chronicled in my documentary film, Dark Secrets Inside Bohemian Grove. As the news spread across the planet that the Bohemian Grove had been blown wide open and that their secrets were public, the people were amazed. They were amazed to learn that many U.S. presidents and British prime ministers, German chancellors, the Hollywood elite, the heads of business and academia, Federal Reserve chairmen, were traveling to the Grove each year, and that presidents had been going there since the turn of the last century in 1900. They were shocked by each new revelation of ritualistic depravity. <laughs> Wow. Grace and all mortal wisdom. 
Now, Bohemia, we beseech thee, grant us thy counsel. <laughs> One last question. I read a Washington Times article many years ago where you had a comment about the organization, and then now it's been in the Wall Street Journal, it's been in a lot of different newspapers, and that's the Bohemian Grove. And back in, what was it, 1996 when you joined uh, as a Clinton advisor, they were the Republicans were criticizing you, oh, what about Bohemian Grove? And then you countered, uh, and then you countered them by saying, hey, I don't run around in the woods naked. What did that mean? Here is the before-mentioned Washington Times article, where he said, "I didn't run around naked like they do." I don't, I don't, I don't know what I don't know what quote you're referring to. I'm not aware of any quote like that. Uh, listen, uh, I am a, a, a happy member of the Bohemian Grove. I like the, the folks who come there, and uh, it's really inappropriate for me to uh, talk about a uh, uh, the group beyond that. Thank you. Have you been there for the ceremony with uh, the cremation of care? Uh, frankly, that's, uh, that, uh, I don't think that's something I need to talk to you about. Really? That's right. Well, I'm Alex Jones, and I snuck in there in 2000. I'm the guy that blew it wide open and got the video, and it's been on national TV. Well, I disrespect you for that. You do? I do. But it's a lot of big public officials going in there. You don't took we a, deserve to know? You, you took an under, I don't know anything about you, and I don't know anything about your film. But if you go in there with an understanding, you violated that understanding by releasing that film, and I don't respect you for that. Really? But you, we have public you, that I'm are sorry. You took an understanding when you went in there that you would not do that film. And you did, did you have an understanding when you went in there? No. Did you crash it? Yes. Yeah, and it has no trespassing signs there too, doesn't it? No, they put them yes, up sir. after. Oh, I'm I sorry. Just walked in. I'm sorry, sir. I've been there before. I know what I want the circumstances are, and I'm sorry you uh, violated the understandings. That was not that was not a gentlemanly thing to do. But what about the ritual? Is the ritual gentlemanly? <laughs> Sir, everything uh, the, you, I, I, I don't owe you this comment. I know. I you, 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 you have you. This is what's called ambush journalism, and I disrespect you for that as well. So thank have you, you ever and goodbye. Been in the ritual? That's none of your damn business. Oh, that's right. Listen, oh. listen. You go around and and make understandings with people and violate them. You, you ambush people on the streets, and that's, that's an inappropriate form of journalism. If you wish to practice that, that's fine, but don't ask others to respect you for it. If you, want to, you, you can do it. You're free American like anything you want. If you want to be uncivil and rude and ungentlemanly, that's up to you. But don't expect the rest well, of us to say, oh, well, you're there, one. Mr. Gergen. I'm sorry. Nobody sets policy in there. We try to be gentlemen, and obviously you don't belong there. Weaving spiders come out here? <laughs> yeah, that is a three-pointer. Woo! Look how strangely he behaved when we brought it up. Why is he acting so secretive? And why did he get so angry when he discovered that we'd snuck in? You see, they take it very, very seriously. This is one of the hallmarks of the occult and secret societies. The word occult means secret. Secrecy is part of their religion. They revel in it, and when it's violated, they become extremely angry. Our social lives, going to the football game or the PTA, a little bit different than your average world leader or corporation chief. You no, know, in their spare time, they worship Moloch and do mock human sacrifices. We just need to get used to that and accept them as our leaders. Think about it. If your neighbor was engaging in mock human sacrifices, to Moloch, the demon idol that was worshipped all over the Mediterranean and the Middle East, would you let that neighbor walk your dog or house sit or how about babysit your children or be in control of the nuclear launch codes? Well, let me give you a revelation. They are in control of the national deficit, of Congress, of your bank account, of your local police department, and they see you as cattle as their slaves.